Alif is an European wide effort uh, in the search for an artificial photosynthesis device. This consists of uh, a prototype, a machine able to absorb uh, light and to use the energy of, of sunlight to transform water and CO2 into useful chemicals and fuels. Well, AREF is a very ambitious and challenging project. We have to find ways to have sustainable fuels. And the ALEAF is um, rising to that challenge. Um, the, the challenge of, of turning CO2 from a pollutant to a feedstock. Um, and, and how we can use sunlight to power that transition. How, how we can use sunlight to turn what people perceive to be a problem to being something which is useful. That is a challenge, really. I was very excited when I was contacted to, to, to work on this project because um, I like a lot this idea of going from the very fundamental uh, surface science approach, that's what we do in our work package, um, until the creation of a prototype. And I'm particularly excited because normally we just do research and publish our papers and are happy by understanding things, but this time I feel we really can contribute to society. We started this, this project, this proposal idea at ICIQ and we, uh, joined, uh, we were joined by uh, other 12 institutions at the European level. As you can understand, uh, such a prototype or device requires many multi, uh, a, real, a really multidisciplinary effort to combine from physics, surface science, electrochemistry, material sciences and chemical engineering. So we were able to gather a consortium with world leaders in the expertise and we hope we can uh, get them to work together for a successful uh, venue. Okay. The role of Covestro is more or less it's a consulting or advisory role. This means we are in the project to have a look from an industrial perspective on the project because uh, we have the best university partners and also research institutes to do the research but also that we can give some advice how to utilize this research to make new products or at the end an artificial leaf. This project is possible because we have excellent groups uh, from all around Europe and also companies and this joint effort put together, I mean thanks to the, for, to the funding uh, from the European Union, will allow us to make really a unique um, consortium. So we, we, we came up with a unique consortium which I think uh, has all the potential to, to reach the final goal. I think it's really important because we do things to increase the knowledge of the world and if the knowledge then can only be bought from scientific journals then people will not have access, only people at universities with access to libraries can read them and I think it's really important to have everything be published in a way that everyone in the world can go and read and help contribute and use the knowledge that they have gotten. The dream of artificial photosynthesis to, to be a, a real technology is to become a substitute for fossil fuels. So it's uh, an easy, uh, if, if it's doable, it's easy to envision how in the future the fuels that we will use for uh, production of electrical uh, power or for transportation could come exclusively for the use of sunlight and carbon dioxide and water in a close carbon cycle that would be environmentally friendly without a high impact in current technologies. We have to learn that that's going to be a challenge which requires catalysis, it requires surface science, it requires physics and device engineering. Um, and the, the great thing about ALEAF is it has all those parts together.